So I just got back from the 2024 uh, Super Show in Tampa, the RV show, the big one, the biggest one I believe in the country. And we need to talk about it. And this is going to be a multi-part series because there is a lot to talk about. This is going to cover the new American coaches because I love American coach. Uh, but we have a lot to talk about, including influencers, which I was shocked to see how that all goes. So look, look for that video coming because that's a good one. Uh, but here I am. Uh, first of all, I had problems with my camera, right? So I shot this real quick and my camera literally fell apart as soon as I did. So I had to switch to a, a different camera, which made it a little bit bouncy, but let's get into it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to see and do at this show. It was a very bad day. I was there on, on media day and it was just a terrible, terrible day. I'm going to kill the sound on this because it really doesn't matter at this point. The 45P, the American Dream 45P, is a very interesting coach. You can see how shaky it is. It gets better throughout the video. So let's talk about this. This is the one that has a sink that doesn't move. So when the slide comes in, it matches up to this faucet, and this little piece sticks out. So both slides come in. I find that absolutely fascinating. I, you know, it seems like a lot can go wrong there, but it looks like they have it somewhat under control. It's a beautiful coach. It's, a, it's an American dream. An American dream is just below the American Eagle. And we'll get into that shortly on why, what I think you can do with American dream versus American Eagle. But this is a great coach. These chairs, and I comment about these chairs, those chairs look so much more comfortable than the chairs we have in ours. It's ridiculous. We have a set of chairs and then we have a couch as well. But man, oh man, oh man, they look, these chairs look amazing. So let's, let's do our walkthrough. Very shaky. I apologize once again. More coffee. Look how comfortable those chairs are. <coughs> Big TV, of course. And once again, that, that's fascinating. The sink does not move, but the slide will slide up over the sink. It will, it'll slide over to, you know, there. It won't take the faucet off. Same refrigerator as we have. It has a mid-bathroom, which I do not like. Uh, normally you see mid bathrooms when it comes to um, like a bunkhouse. Mid bathrooms just aren't my thing. And I mean that the entire hallway is a mid bathroom. Uh, nice TV, nice, tons of storage. Uh, great bathroom in the back. Huge shower. It's got a really big shower in it. And a little pooper right there. And washer and dryer. I, I, I think this is a great coach if you like mid-bathrooms. That's me talking about the nonsense that I'm talking about. Really nothing exciting there. Let's see what our next one is. 45A, American Dream 45A. This one has an enormous bathroom in the back. So let's go take a look at this one real quick. It's a very windy day, and, and, and it's, 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 everything was closed. I'll get into that later. Media day and industry day is not the best day to get there. Okay, so first of all, I don't like the dark wood, right? Uh, the couch on this side over here looks really comfortable. This side looks like a pullout. But this has two recliners on it. Um, and I think that's a, a great idea and to have the couch like that instead of just the two chairs. Um, I like the table, which is the same table as ours. Big TV with a televator. The kitchen's okay. I just don't like dark wood. I'm so used to, to bright wood. We have this this mid-bath, uh, but as you can see, it's just a toilet and a sink. And then on the other side is the refrigerator. That's exactly what we have. So that whole side pulls out. Uh, look at the shower. I mean, look at that shower. That shower is enormous. It's like the whole back of the coach. That's a really big, really big shower for a coach. Really big. Tons of storage. Wash and dryer? No, more storage. Big closet. So where's the washer and dryer? It actually took me a few minutes to find out where it was, and it is where our pantry is. I'm not sure I like that, but I'm not sure I'm against that either. That's a nice coach. I like it. Um, I like the big bathroom, and it's got a TV up front, uh, like a driving TV, so people in the back can watch the TV. 
42Q, this is what we have. We do have a couple changes on this one for the new uh, the new model year. The toilet and the, the sink are switched. But other than that, it's the exact same thing. Once again, the sound's terrible because it was so windy and rainy that day. And see how dark it is. It's terrible. Once again, sorry for the shakiness. I tried to get it as soon as possible. But this is exactly what we have, except these chairs look way more comfortable than what we have in ours. And we're thinking about upgrading to something like that, because look at those, man. They're, they look comfortable. I, it's hard for me to even sit in the chairs we have in, in our coach. Kitchen's the same. I do like the backdrop a little bit better, the backstop. All that's the same. Uh, new Firefly system. Looks like it's been upgraded, which is good. But it's still basically the same. Um, bedroom's the same. Like my backpack. Okay, these doors. I couldn't get these doors over to save my life. And I'm going through, and I'm like, look, I know how this works, right? Like, I'm a big shot. I just couldn't get those doors to open. I tried everywhere. Washer and dryer's there, which is cool. Actually, on our bus, we took the doors off. So, which is open to the back there, because that's where all the cat stuff is. All the same. Nice coach. Love this coach. Very livable. Uh, we don't have that TV up front. All right, now we're in the Eagle. And there's something I really wanted to see in the American Eagle was the um, the water and the electric hookup. But you can see how windy it is. It's crazy windy there that day. And this is basically the same, except they have the electric back here, which I find a little confusing. Because um, our electric is the one next to this, or two over from this. But I, I guess that works... Yeah, you know, our electrics in, in this one right here, but in that one they just have the um, the dirt devil and looks like some windshield washer fluid or aqua hot fluid. I'm explaining to you how I like this coach a lot and I really want to see this coach in my driveway, but it's eight or nine hundred thousand dollars, so I never got a price from them because the salespeople really weren't active, right? So they're setting up for the show on industry day. Um. I, I like the two-tone, so I like the dark furniture with the light, everything else. Uh, we have an island. This is I, I really like this coach a lot. I like this pull-out island, which I don't think pulls out. I think it, it does the same thing when the, when the, the uh, slide comes in. It covers up. I love the booth. I would much rather have a booth than that crappy little table we have. I love the chairs. It gets shiny, for, shiny cabinets, which are really nice. Uh, big sink. We have the big sink. Everybody's got the big sink. The um, the refrigerator doesn't have a water or ice at the door, which I found a little confusing. A bathroom, same as the one we have in ours. Bedrooms, pretty much the same. I mean, it's all kind of the same. Like, it's just got a little bit nicer stuff in an eagle. Like the shiny cabinets and the shiny woodwork. Huge shower. The shower's enormous. That's a big shower for, for a coach. Uh, and then I point out the fact that you can smell the cedar. Like, as soon as you walk into this coach, you can smell the cedar. We have the same cedar wall in the back. I love the mirrors with the, the lights in them. And they've got little fireflies everywhere. So those things are control that panel. So I'm asking you now for eight or $900,000. But, so... I can't justify buying a, an Eagle versus a Dream because they basically have the same stuff in it, right? So why are you spending the? I think a Dream is five or six hundred thousand, and an Eagle is six or seven. Or I would say seven, eight, seven or nine, seven to nine. So probably eight hundred thousand. And now it does have a bigger motor. It's got a six or five in it. We've got a four fifty, but for that, it's hard to justify getting an Eagle. And let me back up a little bit, because this is the one thing that really bugs me about an Eagle. Okay. This really bugs me about the Eagle. It's got this Hitler mustache in the front. And everybody calls it Hitler mustache. I don't know why they don't change it. Like, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. But it's a good coach. I mean, you know, all American coaches are great coaches. I just, that really bugs me. 
Plus, it's got the um, perforated um, like vinyl over the windows in the back, which I think looks a little weird. But that's my own personal opinion. It means nothing to anyone other than me. I just think that looks a little strange. I like looking at seeing the windows that break up the, the side of the, the coach. If I was going to buy one right now, and I did find one that I want to buy, and as a matter of fact, we'll get into that story later because I really fell in love with the coach there. And, and that's coming up. That's another video. If I was going to buy one right now, I'd probably buy the 42Q because I really like the 42Q. Uh, the 42P, the 45A was okay, but I didn't like the dark wood, but I did like the bathroom in the back. Um, the 42P was great. I actually really like that one too. I'm just used to the 42Q because it doesn't have that mid bathroom like the P does. And that's what I would go with again. So they did not sell me on the Eagle, which I'm shocked because I really went there looking for an Eagle. But I don't really see any major changes in it other than the big motor. It still has a Hitler mustache in the front. Um, I'd go with the, the Dream again. I would save my two or $300,000 and, and stick with the Dream. I hope you found this uh, helpful. Please like and comment below which one you would go for. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you on the next video because the next video is going to be pretty good.